back to recording. So there are the captions. Okay, so we're recording again. Let's go back to the action potential. So when a cell uh, sends a signal, an electrical signal, first of all, sodium flows in. And sodium channels close, potassium flows out. So as positive charge comes in, the membrane potential becomes more positive. As positive charge, positive potassium flows out. And enough flows out, it'll hyperpolarize. So this is an electrical event that occurs and moves down the moves down the nerve uh, away from the cell body. So let's review, we'll come back to this again. I want you everybody understands that when the cell is at rest, the outside is positive and the inside is negative. And that's established by a sodium potassium pump that pumps potassium into the cell and sodium out. So that's called the resting membrane potential or the membrane potential. So the inside of the cell is negative voltage minus, you can measure it with a voltmeter, which measures, measures the difference in uh, the number of positive and negative charges out here and the number of negative and positive charges out here. So remember that substances can move in and out of the cell. This leak channel for potassium will let potassium move out. Others will allow sodium to move in. Uh, other channels are, are voltage gated, meaning they open as the voltage changes. So the movement of potassium out of the cell, and there's another channel that's for sodium that allows sodium to flow in. So there's more potassium inside the cell. And uh, as potassium is flowing out, but sodium had flown, had come in, that made the voltage change. Okay, so membrane potential is due to the flow of ions in and out of the cell. What's an ion? Sodium and potassium. Calcium is also involved, particularly in heart function. So here's, we're in action potential. I encourage you guys to uh, check on this because there'll be discussion about ligand-gated ligand channels, which means the acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter and it's called a ligand. So channels are gated. They're opened by neurotransmitters, uh, pressure, temperature change. Those are mechanically gated channels. And then leakage channels are uh, usually open all the time with a potassium leak channel where potassium goes out of the cell and a sodium leak channel where sodium goes into the cell. So the membrane potential is the fact that the inside of the cell is negative 70 millivolts compared to the outside. Potential means voltage. Um, everybody knows that um, when you charge your phone, you're restoring voltage, and we depend on batteries all the time. Okay, so uh, there may be an assignment coming out for this. I'll let you know. So we're finished lecture for this week. 
Uh, let's go back to here. Let's shut this one down. <laughs> 